Well, some corporate news now. The 130-year-old brand name of Kirloskar is looking for a refresh and a reboot of sorts. In an announcement uh, today, they've, uh, they've said that uh, uh, Kirloskar oil engines, Kirloskar chillers, Kirloskar pneumatic, Kirloskar ferrous industries and Kirloskar industries will undertake a refresh mission of their respective businesses. So what exactly is this refresh mission that they're calling limitless? To uh, speak more on this, I'm joined now by Atul Kirloskar. He's the executive chairman of Kirloskar Oil Engines. Rahul Kirloskar, who's the executive chairman of Kirloskar Pneumatic. And Mahesh Chabria, who's the managing director of Kirloskar Industries. Uh, welcome to the show, to all of you, and thank you for joining us. Uh, Mr. Atul Kirloskar, if you could first outline what exactly you're aiming to do. Yes, Tamanda, uh, our uh, refreshed vision is limitless and if you look at our long history we have always engineered to work with our customer with our society and we always try to think of what's next and when you think of what's next you always unleash innate potential and when you look at that potential whether it is of all stakeholders be it customers or employees the, we believe that the human potential is limitless. And when you have uh, potential, there is always opportunity, which can also be limitless. So that's what our vision is, uh, limitless. No, that's, that's fine, sir. But you, what exactly does it entail? If I can take that question to Rahul Kirloskar, when you say limitless, you say a reset uh, of sorts, a refresh of sorts. What does that mean? Does that mean you're entering new businesses? Um, is that that you're raising more money? What is it in a nutshell? Okay. Thank you, Tamala. Uh, basically, until now, we were uh, making what I would call uh, intermediate products and supplying them to various OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, etc. Now, more and more, we find that they want the solution. So let's say they don't want a, a genset, they want power, or they want it in a rental, they want air conditioning. So you can't just supply a product on its own, you have to give a solution. So that is one part of our limitless uh, journey. The second part is that we have entered two new businesses. One is the financial services business. We have an NBFC called Arka FinCap, uh, where we had committed a couple of years ago that we would invest about a thousand crores of seed capital over a period of three or four years. Uh, we have well on our day, we have invested about 750 crores so far. And we are now in the process of picking up our real estate business. We have a land parcel in Pune, which we are monetizing, and we will be building about 2 million square feet. This project should be ready in the next two or three years. Uh, Mr. Kirloskar, if I may ask a follow-up, uh, this also comes in the backdrop of an ongoing uh, family dispute, which has reached the Supreme Court today. Uh, how does uh, the, this expansion plan or this new reset fit into that context? Will it not be hampered by that feud which is going on? You have, answered, uh, you have asked a few questions to that question. Uh, the first is the family dispute does not affect the companies. That is the first point. The second point is that the Kirloskar brand name is owned by a company called Kirloskar Proprietary. Kirloskar Proprietary did a survey, a brand survey amongst all its stakeholders and asked all the companies who are its licensees to participate in that survey. Some companies chose to participate, some companies chose not to participate. So the companies who ch uh, chose to participate in that survey came, there was a apparent need that a refresh was needed with all stakeholders. So the companies which participated in that survey have changed, uh, have refreshed the brand as it stands now.
All right. Uh, Mr. Atul Kiloska, let me ask you one more question on this. Um, I know that uh, your part of the family in the family dispute is pushing for an arbitration. Is there any movement towards an arbitration or is the next leg going to be decided in the Supreme Court? Well, Tamanna, you know, uh, when things are in court, mostly they sub to this, so I really cannot comment on it. I'm sorry about that. All right. Um, Mahesh Chabria, I want... No, that's all right. Uh, Mahesh Chabria, I want to talk to you about the kind of investments that are going to be made in this endeavor. Um, the Kirloskars have spoken just now about how the idea is uh, to be more solution-oriented. Uh, the real estate and the NBFC division has been talked about as new ventures. What is the total investment that you're looking to make? So, um, let me begin with the NBFC as you heard, both Atul and Lahore Park Park, the commitment to the NBFC business is 1,000 crores. 750 crores is for the estate, 250 crores for the important farm that is called the Prince, which is the parent of Arka Fakhar. Now, obviously, with the 1,000 crores, the Arka has its own board, its own business plan, and will use the expertise of the board and it's to use its strategy to drive its loan book growth and obviously manage the liability side from the balance sheet to take it to a level where it can sustain itself on its own and then leverage the internal accruals and cash flows to further growth. At a point in time, the parent being Kiloskar Oil can also then be called in to evaluate afresh what it thinks of its future because it's just sustaining itself and then decide the next port engine for Africa. Changing gears to the uh, real estate business, which is housed in Avante Spaces, 100% subsidiary of Kodaska Industries. Uh, we have land bank in Pune, so we've contributed the land bank. Uh, in, on that first land bank, as Mr. Rao Kirlos correctly mentioned, the development potential is of 2 million square feet. That will entail an investment, total investment of approximately 1,500 or 1,600 crores. And we are pretty clear that we would be able to do so both from our own balance sheet and also take some debt from the banks because we are a AAA rated uh, institution. Absolutely. Uh, just uh, one last question uh, to you, uh, Mr. Rahul Kirloskar. When, uh, in what kind of a timeline do you see this transformation taking place? Uh, the timeline is, uh, I would say, in the next couple of years, we'll see the transformation take place. It's, it's going to be relatively quick because we are already moving in that direction. So it's not something that started off uh, post-COVID. It started off pre-COVID, I would say. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us and sharing your plans going forward with us at ET Now.